since I got interested in tactical shotguns, I couldn't help but lust over the look of a nice M-Lock handguard. I mean shit, they look so slick and streamlined. That is where I ask myself, do they even make one for my gun? After a small search, I came across this one made by Mesa Tactical. And I thought to myself, that looks pretty fucking cool. A big thank you to Mesa Tactical. This video is not sponsored, but after asking, a representative of the company was really open to sending me this part to be on video. No requirements or expectations were asked. I envisioned this video to really transform the shotgun into a really capable home defense choice, and I think I achieved that. I'm usually not a fan of hand stops, but it was a necessary addition as the Zen guard drastically increases the front end width of this gun. This could be easily a big benefit for people that are used to the girth. The main advantage here is the ability to mount everything on a single piece that can be easily removed during maintenance disassemblies. This inexpensive light bar I found on Amazon helps move the weapon light closer to the end of the barrel, which helps with both space and shadow projection. I've had the shotgun for about a year, probably a little more, and I really enjoy shooting it. These recent upgrades have definitely increased the pleasure of shooting this thing. I've been conducting a lot of testing on the side, and I really can't say this enough, but I really like it. So another common myth is that with shotguns, you don't need to aim. So we're gonna test it. All right, first one, let's see. I'm not gonna aim, I'm just gonna try to shoot it. Okay, so that actually worked out, oh, shit. <laughs> I did not aim that one. So something that was new for me was a malfunction that I induced myself. Tightening the barrel clamp too much will cause the spring inside the magazine tube to bind and the four shells to have no push behind them. After easily solving this with an allen key, I was back to shooting. The shooting experience definitely became better with the addition of all this weight on the front end. The gun is drastically heavier, but that helps a lot in recoil mitigation. I really think this thing has really low recoil to be a shotgun. Something else that is worth mentioning is how this new component makes the whole gun feel a lot more premium. This thing just feels solid and it now it feels like a tank in your hand. It's much better than the plastic handguard that ships with these. If I get this, I can depress this and get shells out that way. I mean, I gotta be honest, I really damn love this thing. I made a video about it probably a year ago or so and the subject was kind of why I chose it over the A300 which is a solid choice that falls in at the same price range. And I gotta say, I'm not gonna go back and change my mind on it. I really think this is it for me. The red dot that is milled into the receiver is still one of the best features. And it just, kind of just runs incredibly nice. It's super fast. I still cannot run it. You really can shoot as fast as you can with it. It's slick, it's reliable. And after a slight breaking period, it will cycle now anything low brass, anything you throw at it, just low velocity stuff, except for mini shells. I really strive to improve my own skills and really upgrade myself every time I post a new video. This video is kind of a testament to that. It's definitely a change of style and something I wanted to learn. I hope you guys like it and let me know what you think of the cinematography and the colors. That's something that might not be quite popular in the gun community so thank you so much for watching this i hope you like it and new videos are coming very soon